வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஃப்ரம் அசிவகம் யுனைடெட் அண்டர் தமிழ் சேவா பதி பாசு பாசம் அண்ட் ரீபர்த் ஹவு பிராமன்ஸ் ஃபுல்லிங் பீப்புள் அண்டர் அசிவகம் கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் ரீபர்த் அண்டர் தியர் கல்ட் கால் ஷேவிசம் லெட்ஸ் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் ரிமெம்பர் அசிவகம் த ரிலிஜன் ஆஃப் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இட் த தமிழ் சிவா விச் வாஸ் ஃபாலோட் பை ஆல் ப்ராஃபிட்ஸ் இன்க்ளூடிங் ப்ராஃபிட் முகமது குரான் சாப்டர் ஃபார்ட்டி டூ வர்ஸ் தேர்ட்டீன் Tamil Shiva way of life called Asivagam was corrupted by anti-Christ Cain children Persian with Varnadharam principle. Persian they appointed Brahmins from their own clan whose work was to spy on the elites of native Tamil colonies spread across India. Imagine a bunch of cave people hunter-gatherer migrating to a blessed colony of Tamil nation. Tamil nation who were living in highly advanced civilization and were self-sufficient living in golden era. Remember the secret as to how Tamil colony across globe were living in advanced civilization was due to Tamil Shiva who was the first human to be thought by pen by almighty almighty who gave all him information on all subject including kama shastra before deluge pyramids across glo- globe built by Tamil Shiva Pandyan dynasty after deluge Tamil nation first colony built in Gopit Gopikle Tepe Turkey in 13000 BC so tamil nation was living in an advanced civilization right from the beginning the way of life given to tamil shiva was called asivagam based on creation and balance children of first anti christ cain persian wanted to copy the way of life of tamil colony but since they are stiff neck like lucifer remember lucifer did not give guard of honor to adam who was created from humus so- fertile soil from earth similarly anti christ cain children of children persian wanted to take the goods of tamil colony but refused to acknowledge them remember bible calls cain fugitive fugitive nature of cain will be in his dna in other words children of cain control the head and you control the body so persian used their women to seduce black native elites of tamil colony across india Brahmin role in India was to make friendship with the elites and corrupt them Brahmin got their women married to those corrupted elites and further created war against good king of Tamil colony and killing many knowledgeable person called Siddhar master on various subject thus creating a syndicate of corrupted elites among natives Brahmin brought those corrupted elites under their religion called Varnadharam thus the elites of Tamil colony are straying from part of Asivagam later brahmin later brahmin became the head of the coil and rights to administrate administration was taken away from the common people through the natives elites brahmin slowly in- implemented varnadharam principle and brahmin made rules and regulation as per time and condition to take control over the elites and to degrade common people and their women through manu shastra later brahmin started to destroy the image of first siddhar tamil shiva they started portraying him as hunter gatherer started aghori cult under shiva name in short persian and brahmins who are from children of cain dna they propagated their own cave culture promoting it in the name of shiva and supreme god they made two cult first shaivism and later vaishnav shaivism believes in creation concept while vaishnav cult believes in evolution concept how brahmins under shaivism destroyed concept of creation come let's find out since shaivism too believes in creation concept so shaivism philosophy the corrupted form of asivagam can be corrected with the other books of creation bible and quran and then only then one can be able to remove brahmanism out of shaivism philosophy out of coil remember coil a house of administration where elected king together with common people took active part in government administration Shaivism is based on creation concept. Shaivism philosophy says that there are three eternal thing which neither has a beginning nor end. Those three things are as follows. God, supreme being which is eternal has neither beginning nor end. It it is called pati. Soul, regarding soul they say soul is ignored and is dependent on everything. Like God, soul too is eternal but has has either beginning no end it is called pasu shaivism philosophy further says soul were soul were many so god created circle of life 
so that soul can experience different stage and gain knowledge. Shivism call it Karnam and Maya. So to teach soul, to bring soul out of ignorance, God created different body. Third thing which is eternal that was has neither beginning nor end as per Shaivism philosophy is Pasam or bondage, dark energy, dark lord or malam. This bondage duty is to create ignorance and egoism in soul called Anavam in Asiva, in Shaivism. God, soul, bondage and in other words dark lord are the three things eternal that has neither beginning nor end as per Shaivism. Come, let's correct the Shaivism philosophy so that people can return back to Asivagam and know the true religion of first Siddhar, Tamil Shiva with the help of other books of creation, Bible and Quran. God, its supreme being, its eternal, its other word immortal. It is eternal, has no beginning, no end. God is the most knowledgeable and he is merciful. All people who believe in creation concept agrees to this. What is soul? As per the creation concept, only God is immortal, who is eternal, that has no beginning, no end. Since soul is God's particle, it, it too is immortal, in other words, eternal, that has no beginning, no end. Like God, soul too is knowledgeable and soul is merciful too. In short, Atma knows Paramatma, as they both are same. Bible says, God created human in his own image. One of the image attributes of God is merciful. Soul can make body as merciful provided body listens to soul, which is God's particle. To make body listen to soul, one has to do meditation and yoga so that the body can become the image of God and human can be merciful on all creation and establish balance on earth. Coming to Shaivism, concept of bondage or dark energy, dark lord. Remember, soul is immortal as it is God's particle. How bondage, pasam, is eternal, in other words, immortal like God? God is merciful. Bondage, pasam, dark energy, dark lord is not merciful. So, how can bondage, pasam, dark energy, dark lord be immortal like God is the main question here. Let's find out. Under creation concept, before creation of human earth, God created demon race whose head was Lucifer. God created demon with fire while angel from light, dark energy, dark lord, bondage, pasam of Saivism is Lucifer. But the question is, how Lucifer, a creation of God, became immortal as God? Since Quran and Asivigam reminder, let's find out. Quran chapter 15 verse 32 to 43 says, gives an answer as to how pasam or bondage, the dark energy, the dark lord, Lucifer became immortal. I read, Allah said, O Iblis or Lucifer, what is the matter with you that you are not with those who prostrate? Lucifer said, Never would I prostrate to a human whom you created out of clay from an altered black mud. Allah said, Then get out of it, for indeed you, Lucifer, are expelled. And indeed upon you, Lucifer, is the curse until day of recompense. Lucifer said, My Lord, then repri reprive me until day they are resurrected. Before reading further, I would like to tell the meaning of the word reprieve. Reprieve means cancel or postpone the punishment of. Allah said, So indeed you, Lucifer, are those reprieve, immortal, until the day of the time well known, day of Mahapralaya. So Lucifer, who is a creation, got immortal till day of judgment. So Pasam or bondage, dark energy or dark lord is Lucifer. So since Quran is an Asivagam reminder, here it gives the answer of to regarding pasam or bondage, how it became immortal. So now let's conclude. God immortal, he is merciful. Soul too is immortal as it is God's particle. Pasam or bondage is Lucifer who was a creation which later was made immortal, now known as Dark Lord. His army are called Luciferians. Since Bible warns about coming of Antichrist, which means coming of children of Cain on Tamil nation, referring to Persian. First batch of Antichrist, Cain, children of Persian, while second batch of children of Cain are Roman, settled on land of children of Israel of Semitic black race. 
Roman Persian, they now hiding behind Muslim label of Shia, Sufi, Sunni, Wahhabi. They all are part of Luciferian army together with Brahmins and corrupted elites among native and also etymology researcher who believes in evolution theory and fooling people with language. All working to complete Aryabhata agenda on the land of Tamil colony, India. Regarding rebirth concept, please watch my upcoming video. Nandri, Vanakkam.